Hey guys, welcome back to Digi Six Cover. Appreciate you showing up. Today is first round coming out of the Seekins. It's the Havoc Pro Hunter Two. We're going to be shooting some Hornady ELD match. These are one forties from uh, last season. <laughs> Our burger ammo 144 the hybrids so i got some of this laying around that uh i'm not going to travel with so i need to get 100 rounds down the barrel break it in basically this is going to be the first shot i basically bore sighted it at 200 yards there isn't a target we are at virtua defense right now located in old fort north carolina so if you've been here uh, you know it's a great place it goes all the way out to 700 yards and just enjoyable. I'm the only one out here. It's Friday. It's nice and quiet until we get going, but um, it should be fun. We're going to be using uh, some MDT mags. These are the window mags that I really like with the metal lips, and it shows you how many rounds you got available. So I'm going to put a couple through it, and then I'm going to run uh, patches. I won't bore you with that detail, but basically I'm just breaking in the barrel right now. I've already ran... Uh, Clean the barrel really good just from when they they fired it at the factory and we should have some fun i'll put some ears on and if i'm lucky i'll hit that target at 200 yards with my with me just trying to bore sight it looking through the bottom and bringing the reticle to what i think should be an impact but we'll see you're gonna see with me and uh wish me good luck because Usually takes me a couple of rounds. All right, let's see here. Get comfortable. Basically, what today is is just seasoning this barrel, getting a hundred rounds through it to hopefully get some speed out of it. Action's nice and smooth. I'm gonna be shooting a diamond, hopefully. At the 200 yard, let me turn the level on. Can it over just there. All right, wish me luck. Oh, yeah. So that's good news. I was lucky enough to bore sight it in correctly. And uh, I'll print a group here in a little bit after I get some breaking in it and cleaning and all that stuff. But, uh, that's a uh, ring of steel sounds good, especially the first round out of it. So this is definitely really good ammo. The Hornady match, ELD match is really good. All right, so I set this video up so those of you that just got to know if the rifle's good, if it shot well right off the get-go in the first five seconds of the video, I'm going to put the last two portions of the video right here so you guys can get the overview of what I thought. Wait for it to stop swinging. Trying to get a group. That group's like this at 200 yards, basically stacking on top of each other, which is good. That's what, exactly what I'm looking for. So, that's what it needs to do. That's why I'm here. Get some more rounds down range. I got another 20 or 40 I gotta go through, but she's printing good. 
the group's off to the right a little bit, but like I said, I'm, I'm not worried about getting it zeroed yet because I'm not even running this ammo, so. Well, and this thing is a, this thing is a damn very accurate rifle. I'm very glad that I had a chance to uh, pick one of these up. And I like it. I like it a lot. The trigger is just a hair too light for me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. That was a little teaser. A little so the real uh, right answers and Don't review are at the end of the video. As far as so, how you have heavy time, the watch trigger it. pull is on it. But I do like it a little bit heavier. Scope's been working great. Uh, we got a ton of rain here, so you can hear it probably in the background, I'm assuming. It's cold. You can see I got smoke coming out of my mouth. Um, and I will say congratulations to me. I am at one year of not smoking, so I'm super excited. So today is March 1st, 2024. And I have one year of not smoking. So super excited. What a great day. I'm proud of myself. That's all that really matters. So you guys have a great one. See you on the next one. So that was one round. I'm breaking it in the old school way. A lot of people say, oh, you don't need to do this. But I'm old, so I'll just do it the way I've always done it. All right, let's shoot one more round. Same 200 yard target. Move this bipod down a little bit. Get a little more stable. Another eight pack, so far two for two. And the monotonous part. So after I do this for a little while, then I'll be able to shoot some strings of five. All right, we'll get started again. So basically I've shot three rounds now and got a mag loaded up here. Some of the stuff I'm using and I really enjoy is some of this Tipton stuff. So I've showed this in the past quite a, quite a few times, but this is an adjustable style rod. So you have the option of the shotgun end if you're cleaning the shotgun and then the normal jag thread on this side. So the jags I use Tipton and I'm using a Tipton rod. I really enjoy these. This is the Bortec one. Sure, it spins like this. But a lot of times on these longer barrels, when you're having trouble and the, this thing's trying to bend, I can take all that bend out by just getting close enough, starting it, and then just keep working it until I get all the way through. So that's one of the benefits to this style that I really enjoy. Basically it locks tight so you can push, but as uh, it's going down the rifling, it's still turning. So I can hold it from going you know, sliding, but it still turns somehow. I don't know how they they do that, but. So Tipton rods, definitely for sure. Tipton Jags, Hops number nine. I'll put the stuff down below. So I, I shot at a rock, because there's no targets at 100. Right now I can't really get a zero like I'm on, but I'm not, I can't make it perfectly precise, because at this point there's no point, because the barrel's gonna speed up, so. The reason why I'm here today is to actually get some rounds through it so that it'll be, it'll be consistent. The barrel will be conditioned. It'll be clean, but it'll be conditioned. So basically when they, when they cut this barrel, there's machining in there. And as the, the copper goes through, it's basically filling those micro grooves. And as we push rods through and clean it, that's gonna basically smoothen out a little bit. And as that happens, your rifle will increase in speed a little bit. So before I put the magneto speed on and try to get a speed and try to figure out my dope, 
I'm running this through. But I'm going to guess I'm going to go still shoot targets out to 700 and uh, consider it not wasting ammo. So I'm, I'm getting stuff done. I might be a little high. I might be a little left right now. Don't really care. It's raining outside. So I'm not going to go set up paper target because by the time I get all the way out there, it'll be a sheet of crap and I won't be able to see anything anyways. So I, I kind of got a rough zero at 100. I've already shot targets at 200. The first two rounds were impacts. I shot one into the dirt at 100. So I need to come back up five tenths. But I'm gonna go, I kind of got a rough idea. It's basically two tenths left of zero. Or yeah, two tenths high of zero right here. But we'll do, uh, I know there's a 500 yard target out there. I'm using the speed for a 144 burger, but it'll get me close and then I'll know what I'm doing. So let's go to 500 yards. Things to look at when I shoot this next one is that Axis Works 5 port enabler titanium brake. We'll see what kind of action it has on it. It does a good job of uh, mitig mitigating the recoil, but Let's see if it does any bouncing or whatever. I want to be all the way at the end here squeezing the bag. So this has the ability to jump, bounce, whatever, whatever, whatever it is. So we'll kind of get it. I'll have a chance to see it afterwards on camera when I, when I make the video. So it's saying 2.96. So we'll just go to three. Let me hold a half mil. Okay, that was an impact. Looks like the target was still basically, uh, looks like the impact was on the right still. So probably got to mess with the zero a little more, but for fun, I'm going to hold, uh, let's hold six tenths, see what happens. I look pretty dead on still rock to the left a little bit because at this point it doesn't matter I just need to get this barrel seasoned so I think that was uh, so three nine which would be I need to take two tenths add two tenths to that so it'd be four one four one we'll give it a shot the old college try. All right. That might be 550. A little trick that doesn't work all the time. But if you have uh, your parallax knob here and everything lines up pretty good, I will try to... I will try to basically make my parallax tell me what my range is so right there is pretty clear the lighting sucks in here what does that say that says 500 still so that's probably a 550 target so I need to go farther than that so I'm going to say that's 550 I'll go to the 600 That was actually an impact. I had hit the mud right to the left of it twice. And uh, so I need to come up a tenth, basically. That would have got it perfect. So yeah, right, if this was the target, I was hitting right here at the bottom. So it took me three shots to hit that. The first time I thought I actually hit it, it was more of a thud than a ding. But I, sometimes if you hit them steel targets and they're kind of perfectly centered, it's... You don't get any action on that target, so not too shabby for not having a zero yet. So I'm excited about that. So so far we have shot 11 rounds. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean the clean the action in the barrel again, and we'll just keep putting rounds through it till all of this is gone. 
Alright, here we go. Same spot, which is nice. I need to come over a tent though. The thing's been running really nice. Still haven't got a real official zero yet until uh, I get 100 rounds through it. Plus, I'm not even shooting that ammo. I'm going to be shooting a different ammo anyway, so no point of really zeroing it. I got to kind of halfway zeroed per se, but I haven't really set the turrets up. If you're a taller gentleman or woman, the the pool length is probably about a seems to be about an inch shorter than uh, most. So if you're a, if you're a bigger person and you got longer arms and torso and everything, you might have to do something here in order for it to work because the length of pull does seem to be a little bit shorter than most most rifles. Ready for a three. Okay, so I'm on the third round. This is kind of, I'm already seeing heat mirage. So I don't know if it's because it's pretty damn cold out right now or not, but I'm not liking it. So I'm hitting the target at 700, but realize it's a larger target. I'm not liking how fast that mirage comes off that barrel. Hoping it's just temperature, like I said, though. Feels good on a cold day, though. All right, we're going out to 600, I think it's 650, wherever that small ass target is over there. I want to say it's six, I think it's 600. Let's see if we can get close to it. Maybe we can scare it a little bit. Come up more. 
I'll tell you if I got the right dope if I'm at the right target here in a second. I should be close to holding three nine. Hold uh, three tenths. Let's take a little more level. Impact. <laughs> nice. That's a nice target too. It's that 600. It's about that big. So that'll be good. We're gonna do that again. Oh, I'm happy about that. Oh, just low. Right. First shot was all luck, it appears. Four tenths. Let's try five tenths. I knocked it off the hanger, unfortunately. But that's 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 good. That target's always a pain in the ass. And uh, I'm just glad I hit it. I was really glad I hit it on the first shot. Felt really good. At least the dope. Elevation seems to be right. Speeds, I haven't even checked the speeds yet because, again, I'm not even shooting this ammo, so it doesn't matter. But just out having fun. This thing is a, this thing is a damn very accurate rifle. I'm very glad that I had a chance to uh, pick one of these up. And I like it. I like it a lot. The trigger is just a hair too light for me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tighten it up just a little bit so it's a little heavier don't know what it is as far as how heavy the trigger pull is on it but I do like it a little bit heavier scope's been working great and uh, we got a ton of rain here so you can hear it probably in the background I'm assuming it's cold you can see I got smoke coming out of my mouth um, and I will say congratulations to me I am at one year of not smoking, so I'm super excited. So today is March 1st, 2024, and I have one year of not smoking. So super excited. What a great day. I'm proud of myself. That's all that really matters. So you guys have a great one. See you on the next one. Alright, final thoughts on the Seekins Precision Havoc Pro Hunter 2 NRL version. <laughs> I like this one. I was really kind of questioning whether I'd like a stock or not. And it seems to be fine. It's like any other thing. I will say it's a little nicer, especially like in this cold, rainy weather. You don't have that, uh, that cold metal feel, which... It's kind of nice. Um, 
but I am really impressed with how this thing shot. Uh, so basically I ran three full boxes and a half a box. So I'm gonna call that good. The thing printed groups at 600, um, basically like this kind of uh, modified prone per se. And it shot a nice group. Um, it might shoot a little better once I get everything figured out. But and it was a nice, clean, Ipsic, steel Ipsic target up there. And I had, a, I had a couple groups like that. So it's all within, it's definitely a minute of angle gun for sure. I'm sure it can do better once I put in some, this is good ammo, don't get me wrong. Uh, I'm going to shoot the 144 Burger Hybrids. I think I'll get a little better group. I would assume, maybe, maybe not, but I, I'm thoroughly impressed. The scope works really well. When I first started, I was getting some mirage, and I don't know if that was because uh, of the temperatures and the barrel heating up or whatever the case was, but had a little bit of mirage in the beginning. Didn't notice it as much. Maybe the temperature's gone up a little bit. Yeah, I'm not blowing as much smoke, so it has warmed up. Let's see what it is. It was 40. And now it's still 41, so it hasn't really changed much throughout the day. But I'm really impressed. The trigger is super smooth. The action's nice and smooth. Not as nice as some of the custom rifles that I shoot, but this is definitely a little nicer than... Uh, I'll just say what I was shooting last season when it comes to the action. I haven't had any issues ever since I uh, brought this cheek pad back where it wasn't interfering with my, my stroke. So hopefully this, this thing shoots as good as it did today. And when we add that new ammo, we'll get the right speed. I'll actually get a zero. And we'll try to print some groups even better. But this thing seems to be working well. I will say that, uh, let me get this back to zero. At 700 yards, nice, super clear on a shitty day like this. I should scan over and show you kind of that fog that's in the area. But um, having a little better glass this year should, should do me wonder. So we'll see what happens. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that video, stay tuned, see you on the next one, and I'll see you out on the road here shortly.